Hey babe. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here today. So you're going to give me, hopefully, a message for you. Wouldn't that be so great, considering this is my livelihood? I mean, I think it would be pretty amazing if I could get something for you, right? All right, let's see. Holy Spirit, can I get a collective message for the beautiful viewer that chose this? <sighs> Her time's up. Oh, shit. It sounded very much like one of your spirit guides saying, time's up. I mean, well, I mean, it was. Ooh, the world. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh my God, I heard Time's Up on the world getting a whiff of you. Getting a whiff of your essence. Time's Up on the world. You see how this world is blocking her eyes? I heard that the world has been seeing you through distorted lens. They've been seeing you through a distorted lens. Oh my God, look on the bottom. Four swords, look, 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 look. Your uh, Their eyes were like, Wait, what the fuck is that noise? They were seeing you through the eyes of, I don't know, it wasn't love. What was it? What was it then? Queen of Cups? Queen of Wands? It was like, it was like, People were seeing, oh my God, the Empress, girl. People were seeing you through like another woman. I hate to say, okay, all right, all right. I'm reading for a woman. I definitely am getting like you're a feminine. I, I definitely a feminine. And it's like there was another energy around you. Kind of mm, like becoming you. Another consciousness was all around you. And people were seeing that consciousness. Like, they weren't seeing you. They were seeing this other woman. Yeah, the Empress. Definitely. Definitely. They were seeing... I heard they were getting it twisted. They were seeing something that wasn't you. It was like they saw your body. They heard you speak, but they didn't, like, know it was you. And this is the whole world. I'm hearing everyone. Everyone got it twisted. Everyone saw you as, like, another woman. A karmic, a karmic energy that is around you. Heard the name Nick, Nicolette? Eight of Wands. Again, something about your, spe your speech. Your speech is like you would speak, but I heard, why should we trust you? Why should we trust you? I heard we shouldn't. We shouldn't trust you. We shouldn't trust the Empress. What? You were not looking like the Empress, Collective. You were looking like someone else. You were looking like a queen of cups or a queen of wands. Take it as it resonates. You were looking like a queen. You weren't looking like the empress. You understand? There's a big difference here. Something about the eight of wands is communication. Like, it's the way you, you speak. It's like people were listening, but were they hearing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Muse of voices. You can't make it up. This is all swords cards. This is like all speech all speech, all dialect, everything you spoke. It was you. It was you speaking, but it, it wasn't like resonating. It wasn't, I don't know. It's like people didn't trust it. Music voices. And look at these two women. It's like you were, you were, you looked like someone else and you sounded like someone else. And wow. Okay. Muse of voices. Yeah. Page of wands. Look at, look at this woman. She's trying to like hear. She, she has her uh, ear to the ground, trying to like hear you, but, but. You're like, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? What's the fucking point? What's the point here, collective? It's like, it's like people were getting angry at you because they couldn't understand like, what you were trying to relay or convey. They were angry. People were angry. I heard, I heard mutiny. Like people were coming at you with pitchforks. You're like, what the fuck are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Because they were trying to get information from you or something. It's like, I feel like the collect, I feel like the world, yeah, two of swords. The world is really angry at a karmic, not you. There's about to be an onslaught of hatred from the world towards a karmic that isn't you. 
whoa, mm, spirit just showed me a dream I had years ago. Ooh. Two of swords, again, two of swords. Like, there were two of you. And I feel like you're twins with this person or like you mirror this person a lot. No, they mirrored you a lot. You didn't actually mirror this person. You tried not to. You tried not to. I'm hearing like, I heard that Lizzo song, wash you out my hair, get you out of my hair. Like, you try to like, you could have just taken a shower or something, but I'm getting like, I want to wash this out of my hair. Like, this person has, um, Oh my God, they're gonna make me talk about this dream. Are they, are you? Five of Pentacles, ugh. I feel like the collective is praying. You're praying for something. And it's, and it's, you're praying for help to get rid of this karmic energy around you so people can see you more clearly. They cannot see you clearly. 616 on the clock, that's a devil's number for me. Number 25, you could be 25 years old. I'm getting there's another queen, but it's not an empress. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a feminine. It's a karmic energy. People are mad. Oh, they're pissed. They're pissed at this one. All right, the dream I had, I was about to be tortured in, a, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a prison cell. It was like a, a very sterile environment. It was in, okay. It was in a camp. Um, it was in a camp. And I was about to be tortured, but there was a woman in there instead. And I was up next. So there was a security guard in the dream watching me to make sure I didn't go anywhere. I was the only one in line. I was next up to be tortured. And all of a sudden I prayed and I said in the dream, God, get me out of this. Next thing I know, boom, the security guard that was just standing there kind of like a robot wasn't doing anything. He was just there to guard it. He started to become active. He started to become uh, less AI robot, more of like an actual person. And he said, hey, you there. Yes, what? He's like, go get this girl. She lives in the same bunk as you. You need to go get her and bring her to me. And I was like, okay. So I ran. And I went to go find in my living quarters, this woman that he was angry with. And I remember in the dream, she had very, very dark hair, kind of like this. And she was trembling. She was so scared and she was under a table. Um, again, this is all symbolic guys. It's symbolism for, I think the distorted feminine within us, the distorted, whatever. I don't know. I'm going to let you just take it as it resonates. Anyway, here's the thing. I grabbed her and I said, all right, come on. You have to come with me. You have to come with me. And of course she was scared. She was like, no, no, not me, not me. And I was like, you have to. And when I gave her over to the security guard, he was so angry with her that a whole mob of other people came over and they were so mad at her. She had done something. I don't know what she did, but she had, she had tried to escape they were so angry with her that I was like, okay, bye. I freaked. I ran. I ran to freedom. So I was getting free while she was not. Like, she was the one that believed she had karmic debt or something. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't believe that I should have been there. That's why I was praying in the first place. I didn't believe that I was supposed to be in that camp at all. I didn't believe that I was supposed to be tortured. So... That dream, it reminds me of this here. I went to go grab her when she was like lying, hiding under a, a table. And this was years ago, guys. This was like five or six years ago. And um, they were so angry with her and because she had done something and I got free. They, they were, and there was so much commotion that I, I was able to run free and, and get free from that situation. So I wasn't tortured, I, I ran to freedom. So, um, yeah. Dreams are symbolic, guys. It's all symbolism, just to let you know. Judge if you fucking want to, but whatever. That's it was a dream. It was whatever. I was told to do something, I did it. You got you got a fucking problem with that. I don't give a shit. Oh wow, look at this judgment. Look, I just said literally don't judge a book by its cover and the judgment card is here. That's crazy. Don't you know what I mean? Don't judge it. It's a dream, guys. Um point is 
a lot of the divine feminines are going free because you're like the one that you're really mad with is a karmic the one that you're really mad with you're angry sure but you're angry at the distorted femininity all around me that kept the divine feminine from being the one that shined or say you're with a guy or a, or a girl whatever it doesn't matter that person is really angry with the distorted femininity all around them codependency people clawing at their energy grasping onto them not letting them breathe not letting them be free um making them do like like duties and responsibilities that they didn't really want to do they didn't sign up for it's like the the anger of the world is not yours divine feminine they're not really angry at you they're angry at the one that kept you from shining the entire world so what does this mean spirit what am i getting for this message here what does this mean for my collective release your power there it is dress of alchemy see i'm getting like there was a dress there was like a um there was a a, a a aura around you that was not yours it was like you you were being clothed by like a false karmic energy and i think you're done Mm-hmm. yes i think you're done this is number 33 which is the divine feminine number for me so i think you're done 1133 as i'm saying it I think you're done. We have released your power here. A lot of you are like, I don't fucking deserve to be here though. I don't deserve, I am not the target of your anger. Fuck that. A lot of you divine feminines, you're like, I've been doing my work. I've been keeping my nose to the grindstone. I've been working for the divine. I, I don't fucking deserve your, your hatred, your anger, your venom, your animosity. Take that shit and shove it, bro. I'm not, I'm not that. You got a problem? You got a problem with you, not me. So a lot of you are like about to release your, your power and it's like, holy shit, what did we do? What did we do? I heard, what did we do? What did we do? Make your dreams real. What did we do? Life is speeding up. Yeah, I'm hearing like, what did we do? We allowed karmic energies, distorted femininity, distorted masculinity to literally use us as fuel to create their nightmare their dream what they wanted for us so people that that are in the world right now chosen people i'm hearing god's people 144,000, whatever you want to call it star seeds light workers whatever they are realizing now like oh shit what did we do we allowed karmic energies to use us as a battery pack as a fuel source to create their nightmare like that was their dream that was their belief that we deserved to be tortured when in really in actuality they think that they deserve that they think that they deserve a shit life not us we don't actually deserve that you want on this doubt judgment Ooh, yeah this is this is like we want happiness the doubt really isn't ours it's judgment day the doubt the doubt really isn't ours it's our karmics it's judgment day for karmics okay it's judgment day for those who think that they deserve judgment you understand it's not judgment day for god's people who believe that they are divine and holy and uh no 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 You're blameless. You are flawless. You are gorgeous. You are perfect. You are literal perfection because you know that you are gods. You know that you are God. You know that you are one with source. There is no judgment for you. There is judgment on the enemies of God, by the way. And in this instance, it's someone who for a very long time, very like lifetimes maybe, got away with pretending to be you, mimicking you, looking like you. You got all the blame. You got all the shit. You got all that hatred, but you didn't actually do the crime, yet you had to pay the time. Explain that to me. 1441, it's a mirrored image. It's a mirrored image is what I'm hearing. You are so innocent. Divine feminine, you're, you're innocent, babe. I heard one, one, you won, you won, you won. 
I heard from the years 2021 to 2023, it looks like you lost, but in, in 2024, you will be winning. It looks like you lost. I heard, I heard you, you lost so you could win. And then I also just heard that saying in the Bible. It's like, if, um, wait, how does it go? Um, oh, the star. Yeah. The sun and the star three of cups. People are about to start noticing like, you're not this third party. You're not this other person. You're you, you're you, right? The star and the sun. Oh my God. <laughs> you're you, babe. You're, the moon didn't come up. The moon, the moon gets its light from what? The sun. The moon wouldn't even shine at nighttime if it weren't for the fucking sun. You know what I mean? The sun and the star with the empress here. That's who you are. So I heard it looked like your life sucked in 2021 to 2023. In 2024, shit's about to change for you. Um, I heard that Bible verse. Shit, what was it? It was um, those who love their life lose it and those who lose their life gain it. You're gaining your life back. You lost your life. Falsely. I heard false imprisonment. That's what I heard. False imprisonment. There is a distorted feminine who falsely imprisoned you in your own consciousness, in your, no, in your own vessel, in your own physical body. Cloaked you. Clo like, like, hid who you really were, divine feminine. Every time you would speak, people got angry at you and they projected shit your way. So in your 3D reality, life fucking sucked. Like, whoa. I'm hearing... The mask is falling off. Like people are starting to see it's this other person. It's not you. It's never been you. It's literally never been you. It was this distorted feminine all along. Didn't I say in the beginning of this, don't judge a book by its cover? Or was that a different video I just posted? I don't know. I heard don't judge a book by its cover. And we had the, the doubt and judgment here. It's like, you didn't actually do anything wrong to deserve such a shit life. That's what people are realizing. Give me more on this, please. That's the truth, the Ace of Swords. Guys, come on, the Wheel of Fortune. I'm telling you, it's turning in your favor. This third, this other person, this other person who has been getting away scot-free, like they, they didn't have to pay any karma at all because you, seven, girl, I heard because you were too busy paying it for them. That's what the fuck I heard. Seven of Swords, look at you two. Mirrored, look at, look, this is you. You are the karmic, but you are the one ending the karmic. It's really karmic within us, ladies and gentlemen. Look, seven, it's like, it's like, that's this version. This is you, them, you. It's like, people are starting to notice Ace of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, like the wheel is about to turn in your favor. Yeah, I heard, don't be afraid to bring that version that was hiding under the table to us, meaning, the divine. The guard was simply the gatekeeper. The guard was simply the one I'm getting keeping you from 5D. It was keeping you um, stuck in like the 3D to the 4D. To the, it's, it's really just a gatekeeper. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're showing me it's a gatekeeper. It's like you can't pass go and collect $200 without actually handing it over. Hand it over. Hand over your karmic. Hand over that part of you that is a liar, a deceiver not doing shit for the collective, not helping anyone. Only here to seek, kill, and destroy. Hand over that one within you. Guys, because it's all us. We are all, it, it's really us. It's not an external 3D person that you're handing over. That shit's weird. That's weird. We don't do that. That's not what this is. This is part of you that needs to be turned over. It needs to be handed over. And the second you do that, look at this, Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups. People are so happy with you. People are coming charged up, charged up and charged, charging in. Knight of, like a ton of people. A ton of energies, a ton of different, um, I heard contracts, commitments. People want to like sign contracts, agreements with you, new soul contracts. Thank you. That's a yes. Wow. That's a yes. And that's literally a client I, that just booked with me. Wow. A new client just literally signed on as I'm saying commitments. I'm telling you, people want to start working with you again. They're happy with you, content with you, divine feminine. What they're not happy with and not content with is the distorted femininity within you that has been keeping God from them. You are God. 
you're about to get a lot of contracts. I'm hearing like a lot of contracts. People want to sign something with you. Now, this could be a deal, some of them. Uh, it could be like a music deal or whatever. Love partnership, new soul contracts, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what it is. People want to sign something with you. Yeah, so I just literally, that alarm, that alert right there was a new, a brand new client that I signed today. Wow. 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 As I'm talking about commitments. That's crazy. More on the distorted feminine here. Dissolved. I heard it's being dissolved. It's being taken care of. You are dissolving this part of your ego. And so naturally, because everyone is you pushed out, and this is like the 3D matrix is but a reflection, it has to start reflecting in the way that people are like going after her now, going after your enemy now, going after that guy, that boss, that whatever. They're going after that person because they see the difference, the dichotomy between a divine feminine and a distorted feminine. You don't even have to do anything. You don't have to lift a finger. You just have to, to, to um, end this part of you, within you. It's all, it's all self, guys. It's all self. Look that we have peace here. Yeah. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. You can't make it up. You cannot make that up. Look at this. And it says service. I feel good when I can help others. You guys are about to really be known as a showstopper. You're about to be known as the one that handled it. You know, it's funny. Look, we have the sun, the star, and the world. So Earth, right? These three planets, but yet we don't have the moon. The moon right now, if it were out, it would have symbolized for me the, the toxic femininity. It would, have, it would have symbolized for me a karmic. But we don't have that. We only have you. Okay? People are not angry with you. I'm hearing you guys were falsely banned and they're showing me you were falsely imprisoned in your own avatar. Like, like this, this, um, distorted feminine couldn't like, wouldn't let you shine. Wouldn't let you explode like who you were like out onto the world. Like, Hey, this is me. Like they would not let you be you. Okay. In 2024, in 2024, I'm hearing for, for distorted feminines, like, oh, ooh, yeah, no, it's going to look really bad. It's going to look, it's going to look grim. I would, I would definitely get away. I would get away from these, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, no, I would, I would just get away. Um, we have health and success. I'm just going to leave it there because I, I just, I think that you should get away. Mm-hmm. Um, you're going to be very healthy in 2024. I heard fertile, fertile, fertility, success. You guys are going to be very fertile in what you plant seeds into. Like anything you plant seeds into is going to grow. It's going to prosper. It's going to be so much more effective than it was in the past because people were not seeing you. They were seeing a karmic. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanted to invest in that. That was off-putting. Nobody wants to invest in that shit. I'm sorry, but nobody does. Nobody likes that. So we have success and health. You guys, 2024 is going to be, I mean, I'm hearing fertility. I heard that. And I heard viral. You guys could be going viral in 2024 too is what I'm hearing. Like if you guys are doing something out loud uh, online or something, I'm hearing that with the world and the star. Yeah. It's going to go viral. Something about, you're going to go viral in 2024. Um, yeah. And health. I, I'm literally hearing physical fertility is going to improve, improve for a lot of divine feminines. <sighs> friendship. And I did get that in reverse. I'm still kind of feeling a lot of you are alone right now. You feel very much alone, like, cause it's, it's too hard for you right now to bring in someone new because you can't tell. <laughs> it's almost like you need to be in isolation right now to be able to tell who you are versus who everyone else is for you to, to end this, this false twin in you, you know, this, this, yeah. You're trying, I see right now, you're trying not to get involved with people right now, even women, especially women. I, I did hear that. Um, right now, it's probably a good idea to just kind of stay in your own lane. Worry, yeah. Because I, I feel like you guys are just worried that you're going to take on their shadow. You're going to take on their distorted femininity, which hasn't been removed yet. Yours is in the process of being dissolved completely. When it's dissolved completely, that's when we'll bring new people in for you. That's when we'll bring in people who give a shit about giving a shit. Right now, it's like you don't want to get involved. 
freedom. Yeah, it's, it's best to stay free. It's best right now to just be on your own because that's where the freedom is. I possess the power and free will to create my own happiness. I think you guys are just so happy on your own right now. Like, I'm really getting stay there, okay? Um, though it might be tempting and a lot of women might want to befriend you right now. Um, you know, obviously use your discernment. But I kind of feel like the message for this collective is that you're trying to find the truth of who you are versus who the karmic is. They're both you. But if you get involved right now energetically with someone, I kind of feel like it's going to end badly because your, your guides kind of, kind of want you to be alone right now. So going into 2024, I'm seeing that a lot of you divine feminines are still feeling uh, kind of alone. I'm, I'm hearing LS. Your name could be Leslie. Les, Leslie. Sue Ann, something like that. Love, love in reverse. Like you will find those who are definitely committed to this path. You will find them. But it just looks like in the beginning of the year and towards the end of this year, you're just, you're just kind of, you're too busy finding the fraud in you. You don't need to find the fraud in someone else. So I just feel like you guys right now are just okay with being okay. I don't think you're lonely. I just think you're alone, but you're not lonely. All right, let's get one last message here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this message. Anything else for the divine feminines I'm reading for? Anything else they should know? Thank you, God, for this message. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. You have freedom here, right? Freedom, and then look at this. Freedom is yours. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. Effortless. I'm hearing you're going to share your voice. It's going to be effortless soon. Again, because in the beginning when I was like, what the fuck are you saying? What the fuck are you saying? We can't hear you. I'm hearing how much louder does the divine feminine have to fucking shout for the world to hear her? How much more does an empress need to give of herself blood, sweat, and tears for the fucking world to wake the fuck up? How much more do you need to hear from this righteous one? How much more do you need? And that's why the divine feminines I, I feel right now are just so fed up. Like you're tired, you're exhausted. It's because you have said truth, but it's through a, a, a lens, a distorted lens of distorted femininity. So again, share your voice. It's effortless. Right now, going into next year, I'm telling you, another 33. Whoa, look at that. That's insane. That's insane. For the divine feminines, I'm telling you, next year, your voice is going to be shared. It's going to be effortless. Effortless. I'm hearing uh, some about podcast. If you guys want to start a podcast, I heard that people are going to come in to work with you in podcasting. And it's going to be like, it's going to be so shocking because it's going to be the same shit that you have said for years, but it was not taking root. It wasn't, it wasn't grounding. No one listened to you. Same truth, same voice, same time, same energy, same breath. It's just going to be different. There's no karmic feminine weighing you down, holding you back, making you afraid to shine. Like the only reason I think you were afraid to shine was because this is, uh, it's, it's as if a distorted karmic feminine around you was going to punish you. You were in jail. You were in your own prison cell within your own body. And there was a karmic that would punish you. Yep. Anytime you try to get free, this karmic would punish you. Yep. So 2024 looks really good for us. What do you think of me? I heard this is what the karmics are about to think and say to themselves. What is it you think of me? What do you think of me? What do you think of me? Everyone is, supposed, is, is, is about to start seeing this karmic as like, what do we think of you? We think you're a villain. We think that you are really the problem. Definitely not the solution. We accept the love we think we deserve. So they're going to be manifesting people who really do not love them. I'm sorry. That's not like a, a message I love relaying to the collective. In my own perfect world, in your own harmony, in your own heaven, it would be amazing, amazing to know that every woman on the planet knows that she is divine and beautiful and God self, God source energy. And in a reality where she's attracting only the best because she knows that she, that's what she's worth. That is not what I'm reading for right now. 2024 is going to be kind of a train wreck for a lot of these distorted feminines. I'm sorry. I am just the channel. I am just the vessel telling you the truth right now. Get very far away from these women. 
lest you fall with them. They're going to be attracting a lot of people who think that they are worthy of that bad karma. And I'm hearing that group of men that were all so pissed at that woman in the dream. They were just like, they were so angry at her that, that I got to go free. See, freedom. Freedom is yours. I got to go free. We, well, because I prayed, first of all. Because I prayed because I knew that that shit wasn't mine. I knew that I didn't deserve to be tortured. Technically speaking, that woman doesn't deserve to be tortured either. But in the dream, she believed that she was. She represented fear. She represented the distorted feminine within all of us. So it is up for the divine feminines to find that part of ourselves that lives in fear, hides away, right? Is so afraid and timid of what? Shining? Being who the fuck you are? Like, what's the, what? You're afraid of being you? That's it? That's literally your problem? You're afraid of being you? Okay, well, then I don't know what to tell you. 2024 is going to be shit for a lot of people who are afraid to be themselves. Authenticity is the new currency. Authenticity is the name of the game. And if you don't want to be authentic, totally cool. But like go to the reality where you bring in other inauthentic people. Because the divine feminine, the empress, and the star does not have time to be around inauthentic people. Real recognizes real. And in 2024, you are bringing in the real. And the fakes, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're not even going to be noticing them. You're not even going to be in their radar at all. So right now, I know that it's really tough because a lot of you probably are getting asked um, for new partnerships. You're trying to sign new soul contracts with new people. But the message I'm getting right now for the divine feminines is do not take the bait right now. Stay very much alone. Okay. Um, do you, do you, if you want to sign a new soul contract with somebody, but I'm getting for a lot of you right now, you're alone and you might even be getting approached by other women right now to be friends. And I heard manifestation buddies, stuff like that. Um, you know, have at it. It's, it's your, it's your prerogative. It's your life. But the message I'm getting from, from spirit right now is that a lot of you are just kind of wanting to make sure that you're not in somebody else's energy. You need to know your energy versus other people right now. It's very, yeah, it's time for self-reflection. It's time, it's time for reflection, okay? Uh, it's time for you to see that your reflection, like who you really are as a divine feminine versus who others are as distorted feminines around you, it's time. It's time, all right? Completion, you can't make it up, full moon. You can't make that shit up, completion on the split. It's time. It's time for you to complete that. Oh my God, I say it's time and there's my fucking timer. Guys, I have to go. I love you. Thanks for watching.